Hi, my name is Boris Malugin. I am a professor of ophthalmology at the Stein Eye Institute at UCLA. I was born and trained in Moscow at one of the top eye clinics in Russia. I was honored to join UCLA Health Department of Ophthalmology in September 2024. Today, I will review the eye's anatomy, touch on some history, and share recent advancements in complicated cataract surgeries. The left picture shows a cross-section of the eye. The natural lens sits behind the cornea, the clear outer layer of the eye, and the iris, the colored part. The lens focuses light entering through the pupil onto the retina. When the lens becomes cloudy and loses transparency, it is called a cataract. The term cataract means waterfall. People once thought that the white cloud over the pupil resembled water falling over the eye. The history of cataract surgery spans centuries. Early treatments like couching pushed the cloudy lens into the eye's back using a sharp tool, allowing some light to reach the retina. Though it improved vision temporarily, it often caused complications. Early surgeries were far from perfect. For example, German composer Johann Sebastian Bach died in 1750 from an infection caused by cataract surgery. Back then, doctors didn't understand how to prevent or treat infections. In the 16th century, Johannes Kepler discovered how light bends to form an image on the retina. He showed the lens is a key part of the eye's optical system. In 1747, Jacques Daviel performed the first extracapsular cataract surgery. He removed the cloudy lens while leaving its capsule, making a major advancement. Daviel was the personal eye doctor for King Louis XV. His techniques gained popularity across Europe. Joseph Lister's work on sterilization changed cataract surgery by reducing infections. The use of chloroform and later local anesthesia made cataract surgery lens painful and more precise. Albert from Greffe, a 19th century ophthalmologist, developed safer and more consistent cataract techniques such as linear extraction. In 1949, Sir Harold Ridley introduced the first intraocular lens. At first, many doubted its use, but over time, it became widely adopted. Since then, intraocular lenses, or IOLs, have improved significantly. Today's devices are in their sixth generation. Modern IOLs are foldable, allowing insertion through small incisions. This reduces surgical trauma and speeds up recovery. Premium IOLs, like multifocal, toric, and extended depth of focus lenses, offer better solutions for conditions like presbyopia and astigmatism. Cataract surgery now uses small incisions instead of large ones that required many stitches. In 1967, Charles Kelman introduced phaco emulsification, which uses ultrasound to break up the lens. This method reduces recovery time and improves results. Ultrasound breaks the cataract into pieces, which are suctioned out. The lens capsule is cleaned and the eye oil is inserted with a special tool. The lens unfolds and centers inside the capsule. Modern cataract surgery relies on precise devices for measuring eye anatomy, calculating eye oil power, and assisting with surgery. Tools like femtosecond lasers improve accuracy and outcomes. Cataract surgery has come a long way. Once high risk and crude, it is now a minimally invasive procedure that restores vision for millions worldwide. Even though cataract surgery is safe and effective, some cases are still challenging. These are called complicated cataracts. Here are some scenarios that surgeons agree are complicated. These challenges may involve the cataract's characteristics like eye's anatomy or other health conditions such as diabetes or glaucoma. Complicated cataracts require special skills, tools, and techniques to achieve good results. Now let's briefly review the main aspects of these situations one by one. Our first scenario is dense or brunescent cataract. 
The main challenge is a hard nucleus that increases the risk of complications like capsule rupture or stress on the lens supporting structure. The solutions are in using higher energy settings for thicker emulsification, adjusting fluidics and energy to minimize heat damage, and use techniques like FECO chop and stop and chop to break up the lens. Also, it's good to consider femtosecond laser for lens fragmentation. If FECO is unsuitable, manual small incision cataract surgery can be an option. The second scenario is mature or hypermature cataract. The challenges here are in higher chance of capsule rupture and unstable zonular apparatus, which is a lens supporting system. The solutions here are including staining the capsule with tripon blue for better visibility, using femtosecond laser or nanopulse devices like Zeptar for precise capsulotomy, stabilizing the eye using a thick viscoelastic, and being ready to handle complications like lens dislocation. The third scenario is weak zonules, which is characteristic to pseudo-exfoliation syndrome, trauma, or congenital cases. The challenges here, including the lens that may shift or dislocate due to weak supporting structures. The solutions could be pre-assessing zonules with ultrasound or optical coherence tomography, using hooks, capsular tension rings, or other devices to stabilize the lens, and if necessary, use scleral fixated or anterior chamber lenses. Fourth scenario, including patients with small pupil or intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. Challenges here including limited visibility and risk of iris damage. Solutions include freeing stuck areas around the pupil, using medicine directly in the eye to enlarge the pupil, inserting devices like the malugin ring or iris hooks for pupil expansion, using a combination of viscoelastic solutions, and keeping fluid pressure low and working in the center of the anterior chamber. In traumatic cataracts, injury may include capsule, tears, iris, and zonal defects of foreign objects. The solutions are use pre-surgery imaging like ultrasound or computer tomography to check the eye's condition, fix any injuries such as corneal or scleral tears before removing the cataract, repair the iris or insert an artificial one if needed, and be flexible with the lens options in case of severe damage. In patients with corneal opacity or scars, it is very hard to see clearly during surgery. The solutions are use trepan blue to make the capsule easier to see, use special lighting of microscope for better contrast, add extra light sources if needed, and plan for combined procedures like corneal transplants if necessary. The next scenario is pediatric cataracts. The challenges including soft capsule, secondary vision issues, lens power calculations issues, and amblyopia or lazy eye risk. The solutions are decide on the lens implantation carefully, especially for babies under six months old, Use special tools such as vitrectomy probes for capsular openings. Consider unique lens designs like back in the lens and manage amblyopia after surgery. Scenario number eight, posterior polar cataracts. Challenges include thin capsule with a high risk of tearing during surgery. The solutions are avoid fluid injection under the capsule to prevent stress. Use gentle fluid techniques to remove the lens nucleus. Handle the lens with care using viscoelastic for support. Consider using femtosecond laser and be ready to use alternative lens strategies if needed. Ninth scenario, high myopia. Challenges are thin sclera and longer eyes, increasing the risk of complications like retinal detachment. The solutions are use less ultrasound energy to protect the eye structure, apply specialized formulas to calculate lens power, watch for issues like macular swelling or retinal detachment after surgery. Scenario number 10, 
high hyperopia or farsightedness. Challenges including small eyes with thicker sclera and choroid. And solutions are in using tailored formulas for lens power calculations, utilizing custom-made lenses for extreme cases, monitoring for fluid buildup or choroidal effusions during surgery, and watching for post-surgery glaucoma. Scenario number 11. Previous refractive surgery. Challenges are in difficulties measuring the cornea and predicting visual outcomes. The solutions are in using tools like OCT, topography and tomography for accurate measurements, applying special formulas to calculate lens power, and considering lenses with adjustable optical power for fine-tuning after surgery. Twelfth scenario is combined pathologies when cataract is associated with glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, or some other diseases. The challenges are in coexisting conditions that make surgery more complex. The solutions could be combining procedures such as cataract removal with glaucoma surgery, like microinvasive glaucoma procedure or mix, or vitrectomy, Pretreat diabetic issues such as macular swelling with injections or laser therapy, and using anti inflammatory medications aggressively after surgery. Complicated cataract surgeries are difficult because these eyes often have other problems. While an experienced surgeon can reduce risks, they cannot be eliminated entirely. Complicated cataract surgeries need careful planning customized technique, and closed follow-ups. Surgeons must be ready to manage any complications to ensure the best possible outcomes. Thank you very much for your kind attention.